Well, hi everybody, long time no see. Yeah, it's time to test this out. Just give, give a little quick uh, introduction and thoughts about the new Hofner Shorty, <laughs> oh, you can see my reflection, Shorty Violin Bass. Now they've had a Shorty Bass and a Shorty Guitar for a long time, but they just finally released the Violin Shape Bass, which they're so famous for. As you can see, I have a cavern bass back here. It's not miniature, it's just back here in the background, see? <laughs> but if I put them up next to each other, can you tell? Let's take this out and see the difference between a German-made Hofner cavern bass and the shorty bass. Here, I'm gonna put them side by side so you can get a better idea of the size difference. There you go. This is a little bitty travel bass and it's very simple and it's inexpensive. It's being sold right now. Uh, I guess various places for about $220 US. Uh, it's just got the two knobs. It's got a volume knob all the way off and then a tone knob and one pickup so you can kind of de uh, dial in some treble or some bass. Oh, we got scary Mike Myers back there and the, I better close him up. Don't want to frighten the kids who tuned into this old man to play a tiny bass. You know, lots of kids tuning in for that. Anyway, I'm not a bass player. I'm a guitar player, but I do love, love, love the Hofner Beetle bass. And you know, this thing, so cool. Look at the, look at the body. It's got a beautiful burst. It doesn't have any binding on the body or the neck, but it has Hofner in the, uh, see, the little, little neck plate. It is a bolt-on neck, as you can tell. Uh, I did take some, like really fine sandpaper grit to the back of this neck because it felt a little woody, you know, a little bit like balsa wood, but having done just that and nothing else, it feels so beautifully smooth. And I also put some flat wounds on it and uh, shut up and play. I, like I said, I'm not a bass player, but... Uh... Yeah, yeah, now I know what you're saying. Oh, you're right, you're not a bass player. <laughs> but anyway, this thing is cool. You don't need it, of course, but it is cute. And if you do want a lightweight, cheap Hofner bass that looks kind of funny, I mean, really, honestly, that's silly looking, but it's kind of a novelty, I don't know. 200 bucks, you got 200 bucks burning a hole in the pocket. You just sell another guitar and you want a new one. Well, you could try this, you know? I forgot how it went. So I'm just playing through a little Vox amp over there, practice amp. This is just a quick intro to this. I want to put this side by side up against its cavern brother. I also have another German-made Hofner bass, which is the 63, like the, you know, the, the more famous Paul McCartney, his second bass. But uh, this one's really cool. It's got a natural color. It is a scarf neck joint, as you can tell right there. It is made in China. It is a it, I took some, uh, it said, what did it say? Uh, whatever the little contemporary series or whatever it said, I took that off of the little truss rod cover with uh, some nail polish remover and got rid of it very quickly. But it's very light. Is there any neck dip? Yeah, probably because, you know, this, this strap is kind of holding it up by friction alone, but it does, it is heavier in the neck just because, you know, the neck is actual size. It is wider width than I'm used to with like the the, uh, the German-made Hofner. So it is, it does feel different than a normal uh, violin bass neck. Uh, it's just a little bit wider, but it's nice and smooth. The frets are beautifully dressed. Slap some flat wounds on there. They come with round wounds, but you know, Hofner basses just cry out for labella flat wound beetle bass strings because they're just about the right length. Now for this, as you can see, the low E like went right up to the uh, tuning uh, peg here. So there's probably some short scale, shorter scale bass strings that I don't have. But anyway. So that's what it sounds like. Let's do it with a treble on. That's pretty much all the bass on. Let's do all the treble on. Oh, sorry, that was all the treble. Here's all the bass. So let's do it midway. 
see what that sounds like. See, that sounds a little more like a Hoffner to me with a little bit more of that treble in there. And let's go back to where I had it. And I roll a little bit of bass on it, and I kind of like that. that note I don't know anyway so this is just a quick little intro to the Hofner shorty violin bass just released you can get it at Toman it's a German website but they do very fast shipping to wherever you are and uh, yeah there you go the shorty bass more to come and I need to practice yeah I know you don't have to tell me in the comments below see you soon bye